Hey guys, Daniel here. Today let's talk about sustain or stamina workout, we'll say method or portion that requires a little bit lower intensity and longer duration work. We are attempting to use the energy system that helps us continue endurance and stamina for longer periods of time with a minimal rest. Obviously we can't do that with super high intensity. So an example that we have is this workout that we did. Some of you guys might recall. All right, so we have Murph. So for our gym at Dare Strength, we did Murph on Thanksgiving morning. Um, it's typically done in the CrossFit world on Memorial Day. One thing that CrossFit did really well with these workouts was they made it into a test of your fitness. And the reason why we do incorporate it from time to time is because we like to have our members kind of assess themselves with these type of workouts. But another reason why we don't do these type of workouts all the time is because we don't want to just test your body every single day. I'm so tired because you're just pushing the limits all the time. Depending on our members' experience level and their fitness level, we approach the workouts in a couple of different ways. So I'm gonna explain that to you today. So as with all of our workouts, we have um, five, well for today, six major muscle groups that we, we are focusing on to um, stretch out and loosen up before the class even started, which was the growing, the inner thighs, um, the quads, chest, lats, and then the calves and hamstrings. So after that, during the class, we went over some basic dynamic warm-up, dynamic stretches, just to get some general movement throughout the joints and a total body, we'll say, warming up session. So for this particular workout, part A was just practicing the movements. We're talking about practice. Practicing um, either the cardio portion, pull-ups, push-ups, squats, and a little bit more cardio. So. The way that we approached it um, a little bit differently compared to the traditional CrossFit way was depending on our client's fitness level, we put a time limit. Um, it was either going to be 30 to 45 minutes or if our members were pretty proficient and they understood their bodies, they've been working out with us for, for several years, we gave them the opportunity to test themselves and push their fitness and you know their endurance and strength for that day where a lot of our members, including myself, it took us about an hour, maybe a little bit longer, a little bit shorter. But as I mentioned, the intensity was a little bit lower. So everyone was pretty tired, but throughout the workout, we weren't going at 100%. We weren't trying to push the pace. We were going at about 70, 80%. I'm sure a lot of our members would agree until we completed the workout. Traditionally for CrossFit, they have either finish one mile, complete 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, 300 squats in a row, and then finish another mile. Um, the other option so finishing these middle sections pull-ups push-up squats into smaller chunks and the pretty typical breakdown is 20 rounds of five pull-ups 10 push-ups 15 squats obviously 20 rounds is a lot so for some of our other members the other options were to complete anywhere from half to the full workout of Murph. Now for some of our members that weren't comfortable running or they only wanted to run part of it, um, running, rowing, and biking for us was optional. And then for the pull-ups, what we did differently was for the pull-ups, they could either use different grip width and from there, we also allowed box or band assistance. So there's a, obviously a majority of people cannot do a lot of strict pull-ups, even with kipping pull-ups that um, you'll see me doing as a demo in the video. So if you cannot do push-ups on the ground, we had members do the push-ups either kneeling or doing it on the boxes. And same thing with the push-ups, we had the option to do the push-ups with a different grip. So we're always using your chest, shoulders, and your arms, but with different widths, you're prioritizing a little bit different areas. For the squats, same thing, we have the variation of width in the stance. You could stand with your feet a little closer, 
a little wider and then very wide. So the difference from this type of workout, so once in a while we'll have a workout that would be longer, about 30 to 40 minutes for a regular class. But for Murph, because it was a, an assessment, uh, an opportunity to test yourself, we had the members go a little bit longer if they felt like they could. Otherwise, the regular workouts, we will have a strength portion and then we will also have the sustained portion. So what can you take um, if you're not a member of our gym, if you're just trying to get some information and some ideas on how to um, get some variety in your exercises and wanting to train the different energy systems in your workouts, we will have a variety of combinations of exercises. Again, we don't do these workouts too often where they're very long and grueling. They could present potential, uh, we'll say, harmful effects on the body. So if you, if you push yourself too hard for too long, it could have oxidative stress on your body or generally your body could be in a lot of stress and it will take your body longer to recover from these workouts. So if you're constantly punishing your body in a sense, if you're pushing really hard, then it'll take your body longer. And the, the more frequently you, you do these types of workouts, the longer you'll need to recover. And that's where the problems might come in. If you go too hard, too long consistently, Houston, and you're not getting problem. enough rest and recovery, which a lot of us um, normal working adults um, do not get to do compared to athletes, that's where a lot of this uh, physical stress could build up in the body. And later on, it could just lead to burnout and injuries and potential aches and pains that we don't want to encounter if we're trying to use exercise as a way to continue being strong and healthy. So this is an example of our sustained workouts. Let me know if you guys have any questions. I hope this has been helpful and until next time, be healthy.